Dr. Hio is a wicked bass player with great chops, but for all those of you that know him primarily as the bass player for Metallica, it's important to know that he came to prominence prior to Metallica with the band's suicidal tendencies and infectious grooves, as well as working as touring bass player for Ozzy Osbourne. For me, Infectious Grooves is the standout band in Rob's history when it comes to showing what he can really do. When Rob auditioned for Metallica, it was pretty obvious from the footage that the guys were blown away by his fingerstyle playing. When he played it alone with his finger, it hadn't been played that way since Cliff. Rob has fantastic fingerstyle prowess using one, two, or three fingers. He was heavily influenced by Jaco Pastorius growing up, and his playing with infectious grooves really showcases some of that 16th note funk style. But it's the song Violent and Funky that gives an insight into his more metal-oriented picking. Yes, it's primarily a funk line, but it's played with more of a punk metal aesthetic, and it demonstrates how he uses three finger picking to create those rapid triplet lines that you'll hear him doubling in his work with Metallica. So today we'll take a look at the main triplet bass line from Violent and Funky and I'll give you some tips on how to develop that three finger picking technique. The tab is all there over at the Talking Bass website alongside three play along tracks at different tempos so you can gradually build up that speed. Just click the link in the info below, then while you're there be sure to check out the lesson map where you'll find over 600 free bass lessons on every topic imaginable all organized for ease of navigation. Okay so Violent and Funky is roughly around 105 beats per minute and it sounds like this. So first things first, let's just look at the notes in there. We'll look at the pitches first, then expand on the rhythms. So it's pretty straightforward. We start on a D there, fifth fret of the A string, and I'm fretting that with the pinky, the fourth finger. Then we drop down to the F sharp, so that's the second fret of the E string, which I'm playing with the first finger. So drop down, and then we just work up F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Second, third, fourth, and fifth frets. And I'm just using one finger per fret there, so one, two, three, four. Then we just take that pattern and move it up to the uh, A string. So B, C, C sharp, D. Second, third, fourth, and fifth frets. Dead simple. So again, just using first, second, third, and fourth fingers there. So all one finger per fret. Don't worry about stretching in that low area there. If you can't stretch it, just use micro shifting. So use the same fingering, first, second, third, fourth, but just as you're coming up, just move the hand. So you can just pivot with that thumb in the back. You know, even if I was to keep the hand really close together, you could still do it. So it's all about micro shifting if your hand's not big enough to stretch it. So once you know those notes, we can just add the rhythm. Most of the notes in here are played with a 16th note triplet. So instead of the basic eighth note triplet, which would be triplet, 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 or one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, we have this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So it's a sex tuplet, okay? If we were to play all of those notes with that sex tuplet rhythm, we'd have this. But we play the D and the A there, so the beat one and beat three, as just an eighth note. So we have So that's the riff, now let's look at the technique. Three finger picking is perfect for a line like this. Yes, you could use two fingers if you really wanted to, but what's the point? The technique that we're using is very much the Billy Sheehan method of picking in the order ring, middle, index. So first, just try working round and round on, let's say, that D at the uh, fifth fret of the A string. So first of all, just play that basic three note pattern. So we've got ring, index, uh, sorry, ring, middle, index. Start slow and then just build up speed. So this might seem a little odd at first if you've never tried it, but just start out really slow and then just gradually build up speed. I'm placing the thumb on the E string there when we're playing on that A string and each finger is coming to rest on the thumb. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. So as I build up the speed, the, the fingers are each coming to rest on that thumb. Mm -hmm. 
Now, when it comes to the riff, I tend to start with that opening D there with the index finger of the picking hand. So there's the index finger, and then we can start the three finger order of, uh, of ring middle index from the lower sharp. Also, remember to shift the thumb back to the pickup after you've played the D, so. Then when I reach the A for that eighth note, I tend to pick with the middle finger rather than the ring finger. I know the order would usually dictate that we land on the ring finger, and yes, when you're playing it really slow, that's probably the one that you're gonna end up using. But I just find picking with that middle finger sets me up better for starting the sequence again at speed. Yes, you can land on that ring finger for that note if you want to. There are no rules with this. It's just something that, you know, I find works for me and maybe it'll work for you. So we have. There, I hit with the uh, middle finger and then we're back at the ring finger. Then when we get back to the D, again, middle finger. So, just start out really slow with this riff and then gradually build up speed. Ironically, three finger picking riffs like this can actually seem way easier fast than slow. As you build up speed, your fingers tend to just kind of flap and flutter along, whereas at slower speeds, you really have to focus on the attack of every note. As you increase speed, your picking just becomes lighter and you'll be thinking of the overall grouping of three or six rather than each note in turn. So when I'm slow, one, two, three, one, two, three, every note I'm thinking of and then once you get up to that kind of speed, it's just So let's have a listen to that line at 85 beats per minute. Now let's try 95 beats per minute. Now full speed at 105 beats per minute. Okay, so that's violent and funky. It's a great introduction to the three finger picking technique. Remember the tracks and tab are over the, the website and also be sure to hit like, the bell, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment to let me know what other bass lines or techniques you'd like me to help out with. Okay, I'll see you next week.